Hey guys, some people asked me about my masteries recently, so I thought I'd make a short video explaining exactly what they are. Alright, so, start with runes, I'll show you all my pages. Um, I name all my pages kind of oddly, but I like it. Start with page one, It's I call it the page of thieves just because... It's my spell vamp page. Um, yeah, spell vamp. Uh, yeah, they're all no wait, two spell vamp, and one movement. I usually play this with Mordekaiser. Um, occasionally Vlad, but that's pretty rare. Um, do you take? Then I got Neba flat ability power and armor with magic pen rune marks. My second page is three coins of move for movement speed. I have magic resist, armor, and attack damage. Now I take attack damage over armor pen most of the time simply because it will deal more damage in early game. Or at least that's how I feel, just because most people don't build armor too early. And quite frankly, armor pen doesn't make a whole lot of difference when you have flat late game, because there's just not really any use to it. So I figure why not take a little extra AD to uh, scare off would-be attackers. Anyway, um, then we got Page of Magicians. This is my standard AP room page. I take movement speed because casters, carries, they're all pretty slow, and you gotta be able to keep your distance. Um, and if you're melee, then you also gotta catch up to people. So I highly recommend movement speed quints. Um, for my glyphs, I take ability power, flat, then I take Ability power per level, seals, and then I take magic pen marks. The reason I take flat on the start for flat glyphs and per level seals is simply because the flat seals aren't as good because they're a secondary set. So I take the uh, ability power per level because at least then it scales into something useful versus these, the glyphs, which are all which are a primary set and they're already at a good level. This gives me 30 AP at level 18, which is a good place to be. Um, Jarman, Jarman is, as you probably can guess, my Jarman rune page. I take movement speed quints, attack damage marks, Mana regen seals and magic resist uh, glyphs. The reason for that being Jarvin's passive a lot gives him armor. So, and I'm talking about the passive on his E, not his actual passive. Now, what that'll do is ensure that I don't need to have armor seals. If I want to build a really tanky Jarvin, I can but I prefer to have the mana regen so I can continue to poke. Then, for the magic resist, because he doesn't have anything to give him that, that's to fill that void. So this creates for a more well-rounded Jarvan. And then the last page that I have full right now, I just call it Herp Derp Top because it's just a stack of armor pen with armor and magic resist. The only reason I made this page is because some people do benefit more from armor pen, specifically melee, um, AD casters. The rest of the room pages are empty at the moment because I pick them up during the uh, two for one sale. Now, masteries, I've got 10 pages. They all have the little absurd names. So I've got two different jungle room pages. This one's called the Page of Jungles. Um, Summoner's Wrath, Yo, 
the entire left side branch. Take Deadliness. Lethality isn't really necessary. You can take Demolitionist. Demolitionist because there's not really any super important abilities outside of that. And bonus damage to turrets is always nice, especially when you're dealing with junglers that don't have a lot of damage AD wise. Um, do you, as for defensive, I take armor, health regen, and both all the bladed armor progression. As for my second page, this is my primary AD laning rune page. Um, naturally, you want to master summoner's wrath. Take the standard left side. Take the everything on the left side, actually. And then go with a. Uh, I take tough skin because the extra reduction allows me to poke more in lane with less risk. Um, then you take armor, health regen, and evasion because AOE sucks. And then you got undying. This is my tank page. I master summoner's wrath because when I play tanks, I take usually take exhaust or ghost. Now the rest of it is pretty much everything defensive you want to take. There's not much else to that page. Um, magic is my primary ability power. Master, again, Summoner's Wrath, and also Master Utility because Flash is really important on mages. Then you just take everything on the right side and Executioner. And as for utility, like I said, you want to master that. Then expanded mind and meditation with swiftness for a little bit more movement speed and transmutation because the spell vamp actually does make a difference. Anyway, um, so we'll continue on with page five. You have Summoner's Master, once again, Master Summoner's Wrath, everything on the right. This is for mages that don't use mana. For this, you take Swiftness, Good Hands, Summoner's Insight, and Transmutation. Then Page of the Prince, this is my Jarvan Rune page. You have Summoner's Wrath, Brute Force, Alacri Alacrity, whatever. And I would just left side. Um, and once again, Demolitionist, then Resistance, Hardiness, and Vigor. Then the Page of Jungling, everything left side. Then for this one, the difference between the other page is really very little. I master my defensive, and I take later on Progression, Hardiness, and Vigor. Then Magic Forest. This is my AP jungler. So I take lots of defensive. Armor, magic resist, health. Um, all damage reduction. Um, then Siege Commander. And then some CDR. And just everything up to Juggernaut. And then just take up the magic pen tree. Then utilities is essentially take up magic pen, grab some resistance. Now I don't take mastermind because there's not a whole lot of use to it. It's uh, pretty specific needs. Then I want to go up to intelligence, awareness, transmutation, swiftness, good hands, and recall with someone's insight. Last page, just take everything on the left side, but I don't, this is, this is the page that I change when I just want to make a random page that doesn't really do a whole lot. So this is the page that always changes. And if I like the page, I'll finalize it and I'll add another. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And, uh, hope you enjoyed.